Good morning. It's coffee day. Isn't life amazing? Well, it is for me. I hope it is for you. I am crazy thing, the airbrush guy, and you would be amazed at just how your life could be better just with the right attitude. Some days are rough. Some days the coffee just doesn't taste as good or some days you know you got a, a rough day ahead of you, but that's okay. If you go through it with the right attitude, it'll make it a lot better. But I know you didn't come here with a, you know, plan on getting a, you know, big old pep talk, but it's true. I'm not perfect. There's days that I wake up and like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed. But I get up anyway. And I try not to ever dread going into a day. I want to go into a day with a good attitude. Because I'm going to do today either way. You might as well smile about it, right? Well, today I've got two projects to show you that I did yesterday. That's probably why you're here. That and to see wild thing back there. Well, let me put my coffee down. We'll go on a field trip. Are you ready? Here we go. Hold still. Everybody buckle up. All right. So I airbrushed a shirt. And on that shirt is a military style patch. The client sent me a picture, which I'm going to show you. I don't understand it very well or know anything about it. I'm not military myself, but I do know that a Pretty much everything has a meaning, you know, behind it for the reasons it's on there. So I tried to get everything and capture everything that's on this patch. But I'm only, I want you to take a look at the patch first. Here's the patch. Kind of crazy looking. Well, he had me change the names up, but wanted the patch. So that's what I did. And it's got everything there on it, <clears throat> just with different words. Hopefully I did it good. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when he gets it. I do the best I can on every project, but some projects can be difficult. Which kind of leads me right into the next one. I wish I'd have got some before pictures, but I didn't. I got brought a restoration piece, which is not something that I'm going to advertise that I do because they're so labor intensive that it's very expensive for me to do it because I have a certain amount that I make out here in my shop, whether I'm drawing, whether I'm airbrushing, or whether I'm sanding on your project. So all that gets figured in. So you don't want me as an artist to sit out here for two or three days sanding on something because I'm going to charge you as if I was airbrushing because it's all shop time. I can't, you know, like make $10 a, in a day just because, you know, I, all I was doing was prepping. But some projects, you don't realize just how much surface area is on there <laughs> till you get started and get to working on it. So this is an antique chair. You excited yet? They brought it to me and it was a uh, primer white. It's in very good shape. But one thing I can tell you is it's not white anymore. Look at that. Including underneath and all around, I sanded, I cleaned, and this is all airbrushed. But they didn't bring it to an artist just to make it black. They brought it to an artist to make it truly custom and one of a kind. Well, 
What do you think about that? That is a customer supplied image. It does have a step over here that goes on it and hang, kind of hangs right here. I'm not gonna handle that right now or try to put it on just for this video. But yeah, it went from uh, from white, white primer to that. And they said that they're excited to actually hand that down to, I believe they said their daughter. That's pretty cool. So that's gonna go from generation to generation. <clears throat> I'm pretty honored about that. But that's all I did yesterday. <laughs> but it was a lot of work, just not a lot of art. But you have that. There's a lot of projects when I do the hood of a car. <clears throat> it can be a lot of prep work. Helmets are a lot of prep work. Anything like that, it, it is a, uh, sometimes I have to disassemble, do the prep work and then put it all back together. That's like uh, when I talk to people about doing their motorcycles and I give, give them quotes, I ask them to just bring me the parts. I don't want your motorcycle sitting in here if I can avoid it. And then I've got to charge you for taking all them parts off and charge you for putting all them parts on. So it's usually a lot easier if you can just take the parts off or take it to a dealer, have them take all the parts off. You can ship it to me or bring it to me either one but for now i'm gonna jump off of here i'm gonna ship this shirt out and let my local customer know about this chair so they can come pick it up and let me know what they think so i'm gonna get off of here get to work and i will see you guys in the next one